Oh, ho, 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 ho. hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video. And I just got back from seeing a little movie. You guessed it. How'd you know? Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Here's a gold star for guessing. Boop. Uh, Gore add a gold star in editing. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I was very excited for this movie, okay? Uh, love Doctor Strange. I really do. I think he's one of my favorite characters in the MCU um, because of all, all the cool things. And Benedict Cumberbatch is so good in that role. He's stylish, you know. Uh, you know, I, I like his style. Anyway, I think he's a really cool character. All the hand magic he does, you know. You know, I bet, I bet he does good hand magic, you know. You ever had a hand magic uh, job? I bet he gives good ones. Anyway, so... <laughs> Anyway, I was very excited because Doctor Strange, he gets another movie after six years of no Doctor Strange movies, just been in other things, finally. And that wasn't all. The trailer looked awesome. The visuals looked awesome. Wanda Maximoff was going to be in it. Scarlet Witch, that's awesome. She's great. I was very excited for many reasons. But the one reason I was beyond excited for this movie, my boy, the return, Sam Raimi. Fucking love. I grew up with Sam Raimi movies. Not just Spider-Man. Evil Dead. Uh, the Evil Dead, excuse me. Evil Dead 2. Fucking Army of Darkness. I love Ar Army of Darkness. I, I do not give a shit what anybody says. I love that movie. I love it. Dark Man. Did you ever see Dark Man? Dark this movie gave me so many Dark Man vibes. More so than like other things at times. I was like, fuck. I love Dark Man. The Quick and the Dead. That was a good movie too. I like that movie. I... Of course, I love the Spider-Man. Spider-Man 1 and 2, I, I've actually learned to really appreciate Spider-Man 3. Um, I love Sam Raimi. I even like The Odds of the Great and Powerful, which was the last movie he did before he took a friggin' long-ass break from directing movies. And I'm so glad he's back. Oh my god, and I was so worried that when he was hired that he was going to be director for hire just to make the movie and maybe have a little bit of his flair. But, you know, Marvel is like controlling or, so, or something. You can't go too weird. But I am happy to say that at least for the most most part... This is a Sam Raimi fucking movie, and it is, honestly, at least filmmaking-wise, and, like, editing, and camera work, and shit, even more so than James Gunn's movies, the Guardians movies, this is the most unique MCU movie. It is straight up a horror movie at times, and it's not, like, scary or anything, don't get me wrong, um, but it's, at times it gets violent and, and scary, but not, like, scary, like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm freaked out, but, like, characters do things that are just, like, whoa, Holy shit, anything could happen at this point. Like, I was blown away that they let Sam Raimi really control this movie for the most part. There are definitely MCU things in here that I didn't care for. We'll get to those. But I really enjoyed that Sam Raimi was in control. And I was fuck. I had a goofy ass fucking. I can't wait to see it again because I had a goof, goof. I had a goofball expression here in the entire time. Whenever like a, a close up happened or the camera work was very free flowing, like a Sam Raimi or the extreme close up or like someone uh, closed up into the camera and then the background faded out and you, and something else happened. You know, like th there was shot. There's shots like that in Dark Man that are like that, where like a character will be there in any Evil Dead too, where like a character will be front and center in the camera like this, and then the background will change and in like a fade. There's even like zoom in edits and stuff. I was like, oh. Oh my god this is so Sam Raimi I love it I love that I I gotta give Marvel credit they gave him almost full control I say almost again like 20% of the movie maybe 25% of the movie isn't Sam Raimi but 75% is pretty fucking good like I'll take 75% especially since the movie's a little over two hours long so you get plenty of that you get plenty of that goodness um you get weird reaction shots which i love some goofy moments i i love it i love how cheesy it feels and i know some people aren't caring for that or i see some reactions like i don't like it it's a little too different for me i fucking love it this is what the mcu needs it needs people like this adding their style to it and that's what i love about james gunn he adds his own style to it his rubber humor and stuff like that he writes those movies too which i wish sam raimi wrote this it wasn't it was the guy that did loki which we'll get to um, but, uh, yeah, I loved it. So that major plus, I, I want to get that right off the bat. Major plus was that. Okay. Let's do, let's do positives and we'll get the negatives. Okay. Visuals. Amazing. Looked great. Uh, I love that they mix kind of cartoony visuals, you know, some of the more outlandish out otherworldly characters, like the tentacle monster guy. Um, and even like some other things I won't spoil yet. At least I will do a spoiler section. Um, that stuff looked cartoony, but it actually fit very well, especially when it got really ridiculous with the multiverse stuff. So the visuals are great. Uh, not as 
mind-blowing as the original Doctor Strange, because the original Doctor Strange had some trippy-ass visuals. Um, and here, they're still trippy, but they're, like, trippy, but you, you expect it. And also, they're so quick at times that it's just, like, okay, I didn't even have time to really process that, you know? Where I think Doctor Strange did a great job of, like, really showing the world, you know what I mean? Like, really, like, letting you take in how trippy this shit is all the the city's like folding in on itself and things are tripling and multiplying and stuff you know what i mean uh this has some of that but it's like really quick you know for the most part uh the multiverse stuff even that like going jump in between the verses uh was a little too fast for me but still cool visuals are great uh huge shout out to benedict cumberbatch and elizabeth olsen by the way before i even start i mentioned i meant to mention this in the beginning i don't know why it took me this long to realize this um uh, Two of the main actors from the Doctor Strange franchise are both named Benedict. I don't know why it took me this long to realize that. I know some people would be like, yes, yeah, so. Ben I feel like Benedict is not a uh, a common name. So you have Benedict Cumberbatch and Benedict Wong playing, of course, Wong. <laughs> Which is funny. But, uh, so yeah. Uh, I don't know why I had to bring that up. I just thought that was weird. Anyway, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch uh, and Elizabeth Olsen both are fantastic in this movie. Uh, I think Benedict Cumberbatch has less to do... Then uh, Elizabeth Olsen, of course, as uh, Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. Uh, because Ma Wanda has a lot to do. She has to portray grief, and she has to be fucking terrifying at times, which is... She is definitely terrifying. Um, uh, she, has to, she has to do a lot more than, than Doctor Strange, which most of the time Doctor Strange is either being quippy or he's being serious. Uh, doesn't really do too much more than that, but he does it great. So I think he's fantastic for what he has. Again, I'll get into the writing later. Um... But uh, Elizabeth Olsen's great. I think her performance is really the highlight, I would say. Uh, not that everybody else is better. I think everybody else is really solid. The, the supporting cast does a good job, even though some people are, are underused uh, completely. But, um, yeah, I thought she was uh, she was great. Um, I love the horror elements. Uh, as Sam Raimi definitely does not fucking ditch that at all. There are moments where it, that feels straight out of, like, what, what you would get if an Evil Dead movie came out now with this kind of budget. <laughs> You know, like if, if if Sam Raimi had the budget to make Army of Darkness two, and I mean this type of budget, there are visuals in this that would that makes me think exactly how, how that movie would look. You know what I mean? Like if Army of Darkness two came out and had a hundred fifty million dollar budget, there are scenes in this, and this is not even a spoiler. In the trailer, you see a zombie Doctor Strange. Like there's there are moments there. Where I'm like, dude, I could see Sam Raimi doing a giant budget fucking Army of Darkness movie. I would love it. I would love it. Love it. Love it. I eat it. I eat it up. Mm, yummy. Oh my god. But, uh, I mean, the lower budget stuff makes it more, you know, cheesy and more charming. But, uh, I would still love to see a big budget, crazy fucking weird fest like, like that. Uh, anyway, so the horror elements are actually really well done. They make Wanda fucking terrifying at times, uh, as you see in the trailer. Um, which is really cool because, like, we don't really, these villains that we've had in the MCU, besides, like, Thanos, most of them are, like, they're good, but they're like comedic, you know, they're, they crack jokes here and there, or they're, they're threatening, but there's not much else to them besides being threatening, you know what I mean? Um, or they're like, they're complex in a way where like, they're the villain, but yeah, they're, they're not doing like really horrible things, you know, they're trying to scheme people or whatever like that, you know what I mean? Like, they're not like, I'm thinking like Adrian Toomes, like he didn't really kill anybody, I, well, I guess he killed, what's his name, Shocker, but that's fine, he was a dick. Um... But, uh, it, you know, you know what I mean? He was just, like, trying to do high set. So, like, little things like that, like, um, kind of not bring those villains down, but make them feel more like movie villains. And don't get me wrong, Wanda still is, but she's not cracking jokes. She's just fucking scary. And, and she's, like, obsessive and, like, and she's coming in and murdering people. There are tons of death scenes. I wish this movie was rated fucking R because there's some grisly ones that you don't see too much of, but there's ones where people's brains explode inside their heads um you don't see the brains come out but they, they they explode uh people get cut in half people get just stomped on you see a, a guy at one point she she kills somebody and and they're like they're charred corpses on the ground i was like whoa and you see like pieces of the fucking head gone i was like god damn she disintegrates people it's fucking great i love it um I love it. I don't feel like I'm spoiling anything by saying she's the villain. All the trailers, all the TV spots have made it very apparent that she's the villain. Um, is there another villain? Who knows? But uh, yeah. But anyway, she's great. Uh, the horror elements are great. There's even a scene where she crawls out of something and it's like she's like reforming herself. It, almost, it reminded me of like the ring girl or even like Pennywise coming out of that fridge in the first It movie. I mean the, the movie obviously, not the miniseries. Um, 
So yeah, it was great. Uh, the humor is not forced. There's actually not that much humor. And when there is, it doesn't feel that forced. You know, like I was thinking like Shang-Chi and even like Eternals at times, especially Shang-Chi though, where the, the humor felt really too forced for me. Really just, for me personally, really too forced. And uh, here, I don't I, I don't think that at all. Um, I think it's right, right around when it comes to like Spider-Man. Spider-Man had humor, but it didn't feel too forced because they're still kids and it, it felt right at moments. Um, and when it needed to be serious, it was serious. There's only a couple times in that movie where I'm like, okay, we, we don't need to cut to them right now. We, we, let's mourn right now. We don't need to cut to them. And then something awesome would happen right after. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I don't think the humor is too forced. I will say though, this is a positive and negative. Not super funny either. Like, it's not really a negative. It's just, a, I don't think I ever had a, like a big laugh here. I think there was like one of like, Haha, all right, that's good. But that's about it. Um, and it was, a, it was, we'll get into spoilers. Um, I think the action is great. I actually think they did a really good job actually doing something inventive with the action. It's not just, you know, oh, hand magic. Oh, oh, I'll give you a hand job. I mean, a hand magic job. Um, you know, it's not just that. It's like, oh, defending stuff. They actually, like, switch it up. There's actually a scene towards the end where, I don't want to spoil it, but if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. They do something really strange, <laughs> um, but really fun with some of the action and it, it, i don't want to spoil it. again it's really cool um and last thing before we get to some of the negatives i think the elfman danny elfman score is fucking great and i can't wait to listen to it i think the uh the the song they play in the uh the credits and even throughout the movie here and there uh is great i i can't wait to listen to it i actually probably should have listened to it before doing this video just so I could really comment on it but uh it's not a great one I've seen the movie though um so anyway I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere so anyway yeah just wrap up the positive Sam Raimi vibes up the fucking just great the visuals are great uh, the two main leads are fantastic uh, the horror elements are really cool the action's really solid the score is great the humor isn't very forced and at times can be funny maybe not too funny but funny enough where I, it wasn't you know it didn't take me out at all. I don't think there was a moment where the humor took me out of the experience, um, which some of these Marvel movies do. When it comes to negatives, I don't have like too many. Uh, one is even though the multiverse stuff is really cool and the dimension hopping and stuff or the verse popping, I guess, is cool. I feel like it's underused. Like considering it's called Multiverse of Madness, the madness is in there and technically the multiverse is in there. But I, I, I feel like they didn't really use it enough. There was that really cool montage of them jumping between verses and there's some really fun things which they could have i feel like they could have like used a little bit more the mo most of the time we just stay in like kind of normal looking places but there's like really fun ones where like they're all like cartoons and they're, they're all paint and there's like a noir one uh that they jump through but we don't spend any time in those it would have been really cool if we spent some time in some of those but uh yeah we don't really so i feel like it was underused but of course, this whole phase four is going to be multiverse, so we'll probably go back to it. Maybe not in Doctor Strange, but in something, I'm sure. Um, we're already in it. What is this, like four things at this point? Because we had What If, which is multiverse stuff. We had Loki, of course. We had uh, Spider-Man, and we had this, right? Am I missing something? Would you... No, I guess not really WandaVision. They mention, I think, but not really. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, so far, right? Black Widow didn't have that. Okay, so I think that's a four thing so far. And we're only, well, like, well, like, what, two years into Phase 4? If you count last year and this year. So, um, so there you go. Uh, that's one. That's my probably my biggest negative. Uh, next one. Well, actually, no, this is my biggest negative. Never mind, I take it back. The writing. I think the writing is extremely messy. I, I, I really do. I think there's things that happen in this movie that don't need to really happen. There's scenes that I feel like just... You can honestly cut out and you wouldn't really miss much story-wise. And I think the pacing, this is another negative, so we're going to combine two negatives here. I think the pacing at times is a little too slow. And yeah, I, I just felt, I felt the runtime more so than most of these movies. Not that I was like bored or anything, but when there wasn't like really cool Sam Raimi stuff happening, I was getting a little bored. Again, like 20, 25% of this movie doesn't have that stuff. And it's just him kind of shooting regularly again, you know. You can tell there's still some Sam Raimi heart in there because you'll get a couple of weird little cuts. And I'm not saying like Sam Raimi always does this stuff 100% of the time in every movie. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying 
that style is there. And whenever he's not doing that, there's something captivating happening. You know what I mean? And there's some good storytelling. Here, I just don't think the writing is all that solid. Like, I think the there's a, there's a lot of, like, exposition, um, mainly coming from a new character, uh, America Chavez, who I feel like is a completely underused character. Just like in the multiverse, which is funny because she's the reason why the multiverse is even a thing in this movie. I feel like she is just there to be the multiverse person and to, and to become stronger later but like it, it, like she doesn't really have much of a journey like and she does the thing i'm getting a little sick of with new characters is that they just come in and b belittle other characters you know what i mean like she comes in and she's already talking crap to dr strange and i just don't like characters like that that have to come in and just belittle everybody but to be fair the mcu has a lot of that like an end game like everybody belittling fat thor <laughs> like oh he's you know he's been through a lot of shit but let's make fun of him uh and call him fat and yeah he has cheese was in his blood and stuff you know um not that i was offended i don't give a shit i make fat jokes about myself all the time i'm just saying like it kind of torpedoed that character development just a little bit <laughs> which i don't think that makes sense torpedoing it makes it sound like it went Phew! so a little bit a little bit of a torpedo a little bit of a dive bomb you know what i mean um but uh yeah her character was kind of useless i mean she had a point don't get me wrong but like i didn't really feel for her too much there's like one scene that is very abrupt and very like wow where they like walk into a memory machine that just shows your memories to everybody which doesn't make any fucking sense but okay and she walks in and that's how we get our backstory it was really weak it was a very weak scene uh, i was actually cringing through it. i was like oh jesus the writer was just like well i need to show her backstory somehow I'm like you could have easily showed it and then like if you want dr strange to know about it too she could easily told it um through her acting and uh i can't remember the actress's name but she she's okay but she's definitely inexperienced you can tell she's 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 fine she's fine um but uh, she's not like the best actress um i, I feel bad for saying that I, 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 she's fine she's 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 good in that role she might have even been better if she there was more into her character when it comes to writing uh but yeah i think the writing is just very messy a, a lot of times just like things don't need to happen and they do um it reminded me a little bit of the last jedi where I feel like if just characters would talk here and there, you know, like, and also like there's times where I'm like, Wanda could easily just like go poof and everybody die. And that's the end of the story, but she just doesn't do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, again, not that big of a deal. I know these movies, you can kind of, you have to partly turn your brain off. And I was really enjoying the editing and all that stuff. So, um, I feel like this movie was as fun and good as it was because of Sam Raimi. I really do think that. Like, the writing, I wish he wrote it. I really do wish he did, honestly. Uh, I don't really like the Loki guy's writing. Like, I, I liked his Rick and Morty episodes, but I didn't. I really didn't like the writing of Loki. I just thought it was very obvious, and uh, it, 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 it acted like it was smart, and it didn't feel smart to me. That's just me, personally. I, I know I, my reactions for Loki have been... Not completely shit on, but people don't like them. Um, it's just, that's just me. Again, if you like it, I I, I will never tell you you're wrong. <laughs> but, like, I just, I didn't care for Loki. But, uh, yeah, I just didn't really like the writing a whole lot in this one. Like, there's some moments where I love writing was fine, but it was mostly generic. And the story itself is very simple. Um, even with the multiverse aspect, it's just Wanda wants to do a thing. She needs America Chavez because she has an ability to do the thing. And Doctor Strange has to stop her. That's really it. That's And the multiverse is there and there's other things in there which I don't even really feel the need to go into because you already know about it. I'm talking about, you know, the, the secret group. Uh, but, uh, yeah, even that was, like, unnecessary. But anyway, that's really my negatives. The pacing at times it becomes a little too slow and, and the Sam Raimi-isms aren't really there uh, to really hold it up. Uh, the writing is pretty messy, I think. Uh, America Chavez's character is not too compelling and she does she is a big part of the movie but she doesn't really do a lot and she's just there for her powers it feels like which is kind of weird um and the multiverse was a disappointment i, I it was cool to look at but i feel like it they could have implemented it into the plot a little bit better so really my main problems are the writing it really like the pacing would be not a big problem if the writing was a little bit better and the dialogue was better you know what i mean so uh yeah now let's get to spoilers just real quick i don't want to go too crazy in the spoilers but we're gonna get into it so uh Spo again spoilers if you haven't seen the movie yet which might be a possibility because you know it's you know not even day one yet since it came out um let me take a swig i'll give you a, a second oh it's not a sponsor termina is this a soy product is there soy in this i'm getting soyer and soyer by the second i feel like oh no 
There's soy in it. Is there? I, I, now, now I'm like... Anyway, it's good. I don't care. I'm getting worried. Anyway, am I am I a soy boy? Le leave a comment. Am I a soy boy? I'm gonna love if people just went to this video just to see spoiler, like me talking about spoilers, and 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 immediately I'm talking about if I'm a soy boy or not. Anyway, let's get to it. The the things I want to talk about. Okay, the thing I want to fucking talk about. I was so happy when it happened. I was like, Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> and that that is. I know you're probably like, oh, is it is it uh, again spoilers? Go away if you haven't seen the movie. You're probably thinking like, oh, is it Mr. Fantastic? That was awesome. I'll get to that in a second. No. Bruce Campbell cameo. And not only a cameo in the movie, but he is the post credit scene too. I was like, oh my God. The 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 honor. The, I'm talking about Marvel. It should, they, they should be honored. Not Bruce Campbell. They should be honored to have Bruce Campbell headline his post credit scene. Just... Sitting in a theater filled with people that I know don't know Bruce Campbell that much because it was fill a full theater and I heard like maybe one person go like Bruce Campbell. Uh! Um, nobody else said anything. Um, I'm not, I'm sitting here going uh. to be fair. I didn't make a lot of noise, so maybe everybody else was doing the same thing. They were just going, you know. But they, you know how these crowds, you know, they, they were cheering and stuff for everything else. So um, when when of course. Doctor, uh, Mister Fantastic showed up. You know, uh, they, they, it wasn't like a big cheer, but it was like, whoa, whoa, wow, whoa, 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 you know. Uh, oh, so I was very, very excited to see Bruce Campbell, and I was even more excited when his his cameo ends with him doing physical comedy. I'm like, oh my fuck, I need to watch Evil Dead Two right fucking now. He is one of the best when it comes to physical comedy in that movie. I'm not even kidding. He is like Three Stooges level. Co comedic mastermind when it comes to fucking the physical comedy he does in that movie it's incredible him flipping himself over it's absolutely amazing if you've never seen evil dead 2 at least watch evil dead 2 the evil dead is great i love that movie but at least watch evil dead 2 you should watch them all honestly you should even watch the show um which i have yet to watch because i wanted to do a reaction for so long and it was just like one of those things where i want to do a reaction and, and it just kept, kept, kept getting pushed back and back and back and oh, one day i will Anyway, I hope because this movie does well, we I would love if Ash vs. Evil Dead gets more popular and we get another one. I mean, I, I think Bruce Campbell's pretty much done, but it'd be cool. And we have another Evil Dead movie coming out this year, supposedly. Um, we'll see how, how that goes. It's not going to have Bruce Campbell in it, though. Uh, so, yeah, that made me very happy. And then and then that that scene gets another scene at the in the post credit scene. It was a very, like, Captain America-style, like, so you waited all this time for a fucking post credit scene, right? Um... It was that vibe, but I loved it. I really did. I was I was so happy. Um, I was so happy about that cameo. I was so I was ecstatic. I was like, oh, oh my God. Um, all right, let's get to some of the other stuff. Uh, the reference to Baxter Foundation, which I've I've seen Fantastic Four stuff in the past, so immediately I was like, they met, they mentioned Baxter Foundation, right? Is that what? It's? Every time I say Baxter, I want to say Baxter Stockman, which is TMNT. Um, but uh. Yeah, so they 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 mentioned that early in the movie. I was just like, because oh, I heard rumors about they're maybe having some Fantastic Four stuff in here. And then, of course, of course, it happens. He shows up. The Illuminati, of course, they they're just like this person, this person. Of course, it's people you already know. Monica Rambeau is Captain Marvel. We already knew that. Uh, Peggy Carter, of course, is there as Captain Carter. Um, the guy from Inhumans, Anton Mount, showed back up. I was like, what? I mean that was like a, that was like a redemption for him because that movie I mean that movie that show sucked ass from what I heard um, but I like I like Anton Mount I said Anton I realize Anton Mount I really like him as an actor so I'm glad he got to co come in one second for uh what's his name I forgot his name he's not in it very long and he did, he, had, he does not have the most dignified uh, exit let me just say but um yeah it was a horrifying ending which I, I liked but uh, yeah so you have all that yeah, yeah that's all great um, and then of course. I, I I was still I was like what what that was great so of course um oh now I'm forgetting his name oh shit uh why am I why am I forgetting his name John Krasinski Jesus Christ John Krasinski which everybody wanted to see John Krasinski and Emily Blunt as of course uh Reed Richards and Sue Storm uh Emily Blunt did not show up I think she already confirmed she doesn't want to do 
uh, this she doesn't want to be in a superhero thing maybe uh, i i think she said that i'm not 100 percent sure so she does not show up but joel john krasinski i want to say joel kinnaman i don't know why i said so bad i want to say joel kinnaman uh he was in suicide Squad. um john krasinski shows up as fucking reed richards and i was like yay because i actually I, I i love i have a deep love for the fantastic four movies of the past the roger corman one i really like i watched that because of red Alert media um, and I was like, this is goofy and fun. I like this movie. I, I was, I was 100% agreeing with Red Letter Media. I was like, this is a fucking bad but really fun movie. Um, I love, I love those two movies. I'm sorry. I'm talking about the 2005, 2007 movie. I grew up with them. They're so, they're bad. Don't get me wrong. I, it's the same reason why I love Ghost Rider. There's something about them I just fucking love. I, I, it, I, it's, it's probably because I grew up with them, but like, I, I, I don't really love Daredevil that much. And I grew up with that one. Like, I like the unrated cut. But I never like the original cut. Um, so, like, it's not all those movies. Like, Hulk I don't really care for, the 2003 one, even though I do think the editing is fun. Um, which, I like that there was some auteurs making comic book movies so early on in the 2000s. Yeah, Hang Lee, uh, Sam Raimi, of course. Um, I was going to bring up Brian Singer, but... <laughs> You don't bring up Brian Singer anymore. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so that was that was awesome. He showed up. I, I the Inhumans guy was really funny. Of course, Charles Xavier was there, and when he showed up, they played the fucking '97 theme. Da -na 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 -na. Then I was like, "You gotta be fuck." I was like, "You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro." I was I was so. And they don't play like you know, it's not thunderous, but it's like in the score a little bit. They go. Da -na 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 -na. Which it was really, really cool. It actually kind of reminded me of the, the Joss Whedon uh, cut of Justice League, where they just keep playing the Batman theme or the Batman anime theme at times. I was like, but it was done well here, and it was it was really nice. It was really a surprise that they played that. I was more surprised by that than I was with Joel, uh, John Krasinski uh, as uh, Reed Richards. Uh, the whole Illuminati scene, though, I do still think is kind of pointless because it, it doesn't really change anything. It's just like it's there for for cameos. And then, you know, Scarlet Witch shows up and destroys everything. And you, you know what I mean? Like it was there to, to teach Doctor Strange like, hey, uh, you, uh, in this universe, you fucked everything up, too. Hey, I, I get it. But overall, it was, didn't have like the biggest purpose. But I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I really like seeing all those cameos and stuff, but it didn't have an overall purpose. It didn't really benefit the story too much. Um, so that was cool. Uh, they all get killed horribly. Uh, Peggy Carter was cool to see her, but she doesn't really do much. She gets uh, cut in half. Uh, you get, uh, Monica Rambeau gets crushed by a statue. Um, Charles Xavier gets his neck broken in a, in a, in a mind meld thing he was doing. Um, that didn't work out. Um, <laughs> that didn't work out. Uh, Anson Mount's character, I forgot his name. Uh, the guy with the mouth and he talks and then he go he kills you. Which by the way, that was a great scene where they show what happened to that world's Doctor Strange. Uh, where like he just taught he says sorry and because his fucking voice just destroys anything in its path, it just that d disintegrates Doctor Strange. That was actually another shot, another scene showing you how Sam Raimi can make you horrified, even what not an R rating. You know what I mean? Like, cause that was horrifying to see him like slowly disappear like that, like turn into dust pretty much. It, it was like Thanos, except way more brutal it looked. Cause I, I guess it was also just like, it was Dr. Strange and you know, his ass wasn't coming back. That version at least wasn't coming back. Um, and you also know what he did previously. Like it was revealed. Um, but anyway, anyway, yeah, he, he uh, he, Scarlet Witch says like, what mouth? And he's like, rrr, rrr, and then he just blows his own brain out. I thought that was great. And then Reed Richards gets turned into spaghetti. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, oh, there he is. Look, cool. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> by, by John Krasinski. I wonder if that's just, I wonder if that's confirmation he will come back. Obviously, that version won't come back, but he will come back in some form. Or they're just going to wait and do a Fantastic Four thing way later down the road. Because um, I know the Spider-Man guy was going to do Fantastic Four, but now he's not. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they still cast somebody else in that role. You know, because he, he, maybe that was just like a, hey, um, like, look, we did it. And then later on, they'll recast him for a different, uh, you know, for the, for the Earth 616 version of uh, Reed Richards. I hope they don't do that because he was actually really good. I love John Krasinski. I really do. I never even watched The Office, but everything I've seen him in since. Um, and he's a good, he's a great director. I really like The Quiet Place. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. The cameos were cool. The way it ended was really fun. That was a very Sam Raimi ending where he's just like, oh, and then the eye opens and it just cuts. I love that it cuts and immediately opens back up with a nurse scene and he's, he's perfectly fine. 
Yeah, again, I'm talking to the people that haven't that have seen the movie. You know what I'm talking about. I like I like he's just like, oh, and it cuts, and then there's the credit scene, and then it does the the first post credit scene, um, the the mid credit scene, I guess. Um, and he and he's just like, I'm fine, do 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 do, walking down the street, and then Charlize Theron shows up, which I was like, wait, what the fuck? Uh, and he's like, come with me if you want to live. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then it ends again. I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, so I really uh, I really enjoyed the movie. Wow, thirty minutes, Jesus Christ. Um, I really enjoyed the movie. I really did. Uh, I have some problems with it, but overall, I'd probably, hmm, what would I give it? That's a great question, Gore. Thanks. I'm thinking myself. Uh, I'd probably give it, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 right now, because I do have some problems with the story overall, um, and the pacing, uh, and also the America Chavez character, I feel like, was very underwritten, and, uh, not used a effectively um her power was cool um and the actress was fine but uh it's just one of those things where i'm just like i, I don't really i didn't really care that much and her relationship with dr strange I, I didn't really buy it personally uh when it becomes friends like but there's a part where they, they hug and you're supposed to be like oh and i just i didn't really feel it i'm sorry like they didn't really have they had like a one moment it was kind of like it was the most poorly written scene in the movie too it was like i don't know uh, per personally, that that's me though. And if you liked it, that's fine. I'm not, again, uh, some people just don't like when other people's opinions are different. And uh, that's kind of ridiculous to me. But uh, anyway, because not everybody's going to think what like you think. Sorry. Sorry, I hate it. I had to break it to you. By the way, I'm wearing a Sam shirt. And I, and I just mentioned Charlize Theron. I always thought Charlize Theron, if they ever did a, a Metroid movie, uh, she should play Samus. I always thought that. Maybe she's a little too old for it now. I don't think she is. I think she's still doing action movies. So if they ever make a Metroid movie, do that. Do it. Anyway, so uh, yeah, she shows up and she's a, a character in the comics. Uh, Cleo, I think her name is. Uh, Miss Cleo? I don't know. <laughs> Miss Cleo. That would be different if she showed up. Anyway, so that is, uh, that's that. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Rating. Uh, 8 out of 10. I already said. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time. Uh, and let me know what you thought of the movie, of course. Uh, I would love to know. But that's it. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.